Hey guys, this is Karan here. I live in Saudi Arabia, studying 10th grade in Yambo International School. So, in this section, we'll be talking about plant life cycle and their reproductions. Before we move on, I want to make things clear, the key concept, okay? So, all the plants alternate between two phases in their life cycles. As you guys can see, I've demonstrated this idea by using a diagram over here. That means, the, it goes into the process of mitosis and it goes to uh, meiosis and then fertilization mm -hmm. is when the sperm and the uh, egg are uh, basically mixed up and making a diploid cell and this is known as the fertilization so from N it becomes 2N which is known as zygote cell okay so let's move on to the next slide which is about plant life cycles alternate between producing spores and gametes. Now gametes, to make clear about that word, is basically known as sex cells. Now we talked about two types of cell. First cell was a somatic cell. And somatic cell basically meant that it's a body cell. And another type of cell, which is germ cell, is uh, what we talked about. And germ, germ cell whoops, goes into a process of making gametes, or basically saying it goes into a process of making sex cells. So there's two phases of life cycle that is called alternation of generations. The first one is haploid stage, second one is uh, diploid stage, and third one is alternates between the two. Okay, as you guys can see, I've demonstrated this idea to make things clear by using a diagram. And it's very easy if you just focus on that if you just focus on the topic right here and put this idea into the diagram you'll know what the diagram is telling you so the spore producing plant is mature sporophyte okay the sporophyte phase is diploid that means it has two n okay so if you want to remember diploid which, which is over here the zygote is diploid this is diploid but this this and this is hyploid they're not they're not 2n, okay? They're just 1n, okay? Now it begins when it begins with fertilized egg because as you guys can see, the sperm and the egg cell both when they are separate, okay? They're not mixed up yet. So when they're separate, they will basically are haploid. But after the process of fertilization, it becomes 2n, n from mom and n from father, and it becomes a diploid cell. Okay, so that's the reason why it begins with fertilized egg and spore produced through meiosis. And we talked about two two stages of meiosis. Okay, anaphase, uh, telophase, anaphase, metaphase, prophase, telophase. Okay, and things along those lines in the meiosis. So gamete producing uh, plant is the mature gametite. Okay, now gametite uh, phase is haploid. It begins with spore, it, and the gamete is produced through the mitosis. Now, as you guys can see, the diagram that, that we saw is the same as over here because it applying it's applying the same idea. Now, third, uh, I want to make things clear is that uh, life cycle phase looks different among various plant groups and. There's basically two image, and since couldn't I couldn't fit them inside, I made this smaller. So let's see where can I fit that, and make it smaller. Okay, so whoops. Okay, so uh, life cycle phase look different among various plants group. So non-vascular plants have a dominant gametype. Uh, can gametite phase and most gametites look like green carpet as you guys can see right here now most sporophyte shoot up like a stalk like structure stalk basically is in the flower so it shoots up like a stalk like structure as you guys can see and here I represented this idea okay so this over here is the uh, spore type stock like structure and this the gametotype and it's this gametotype is a hyploid cell and spore type is a di diploid cell okay so i want to clear out one more thing is which is 
uh, oops, let me just bring this over here. So this this step we will be talking about, and bring it down here so you guys can see. Oops, it's actually spore type is the stock. Okay, so I'll explain that right here. We don't need this too much of fancy stuff, right? Okay, so the first step is the moss game. Gametophy tease uh, gametophy grows near the ground, which is the haploid stage. The second one is through water, the sperm from the male gametophy will swim to the female gametophy to create a diploid cell. And remember, to swim through the female gametophy basically means it's going under process of fertilization. Okay, so the third step over here is diploid. Uh, now it's diploid, right? So diploid sporophytes will grow up from the gametophyte from where the zygote is located. Now the sporophyte will create at least haploid spores. Now, as you guys can see, the pores over here, this one, this one, the the stalk, I mean, right here, right here. Okay, as you guys can see, this one, this one, this one. It's called Sporotype, okay, because it's the stock like structure. Okay, now next there's more process to it. Now the process that that it's there, which is gametophyte now, and it says the spore lands and it grows into new gametites. Okay, now the last step is basically the process repeats again. Now to end this section, whoops. Okay, to end this section. Before we start on to our next section, we there's uh, moss, fern, and confier, and we have listed the dominant groups and gametophyte and spare type of life cycle uh, comparison between the plants. So let's go to start with our new section that uh, the spare type is the dominant phase for seedless vascular plants. Okay, so when the plants are seedless, the it has a spare type of dominant phase. So it means that the fern spores for, uh, for in sacs, sorry, or um, and uh, undersize of mat mature fronds or sparophyte. Okay, now a fern gametite or fer ferulus produces sperm and egg, as you guys can see over here. Now this is gametite, which means it's a white cell, it's a diploid cell or haploid cell. Well, since it's one end, it's haploid cell. And a zygote forms on the prothallus growing into a, sp a sporophyte. So what it does is basically sporophyte creates uh, sporophyte creates and releases haploid haploid spores, as you guys can see. Whoops. This one should be right here. Okay, so it creates and releases uh, haploid spores. Now it's in adult and it's diploid. So this is a, some summary section down over here. Now I, I forgot to put the diagram over here, but because the diagram was uh, I couldn't find the diagram for this. Uh, the sp uh, spores land in the soil, but I'm sure if you just look in the textbook, uh, you should get the diagram for it. So from the haploid spores, a uh, haploid gametite f grows in the soil, which is called rizard anchor and I've demonstrated with the uh, diagram over here now the next diagram is very uh, it attracting and it's the sperm swim through water in the atheridium to the archegona okay so this is when the plants actually go into the process of fertilization Okay, so before this, as you guys can see, now diploid sparophyte, which is the fiddlehead, fiddlehead right here, grows the prothallus. Now prothallus eventually dies. Okay, so it eventually dies. Now fiddle uncurls into front of ferns right here, 
And what happens is the cycle repeats again and Sporator creates force that to be released. Okay, so this is the seventh step. The step before that would be this one over here. Whoops, picture is repeating. Okay. Now this again is a comparison of most and ferns and the confier and I've listed them again over here with that uh, we talked about most we talked about fern now we'll talk about confier life cycle so confier life cycle is what we are going to talk about so confier this is the easiest section that I've found among all of them now the sporophyte is dominant phase of, of for speed uh, seed plants okay so this picture shows the whole process of fertilization in the um, in the male cone and the female cone and the female cone would be right here and the male cone would be right here so both are still haploid but when the process of fertilizing takes place which is over here it becomes a diploid cell so there is also a procedure in get, uh, for it to become a whole plant and we'll talk about that uh, I think there is uh, seven steps for it and the seven steps are that uh, first the male and female seed cone grow into adult sparophyte that means first male and female cone basically grow up okay into larger bodies so the second step would be pollen grains releases from male seed cones and pollen grain is the male gametite okay so this would be uh, whoops. So over here, it would uh, what it's telling you is that the, when the male part, male cones grow up, it releases the pollen grains. Okay, for the pollen grains are basically the gametes for the plants in the male uh, part. So as you guys can see, this uh, pictures, uh, this picture is showing you four more steps on uh, on it now pollen grain sticks to the female ova after it's been released and from the second step and the fourth step would be the pollen tube grows into male spore as you guys can see over here now two nuclei transfer into female spore one fertilizes the egg and other one just uh, it's useless okay to be uh, pretty clear with you guys and uh, diploid embryo develops uh, which basically means that the stage restarts again if the plant wants to have uh, another plant again and the last step would be that after seeds hardens the cone reopens and the seed are being released okay so after this process happened the seed is being released and it's being inside uh, the plant to grow up again as you guys can see this is how it basically looks okay now again this is a comparison now we talked about moles we talked about fern and now at last we talked about confier and hope you guys like this section give it a like comment and subscribe now what I want you guys to do is basically help me out by liking this page okay it's a Facebook page and I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like comment and subscribe bye bye